If you follow swimming closely, if you follow swimming closely at all, you would probably know the name Carson Foster, especially if you watched the video that I just released before this one. You would know Carson Foster because he was in that one where I talked about tech suits. But one thing that you would know about Carson Foster, if you know anything about swimming or have listened to Carson do an interview or, or even gotten you know the opportunity to meet him, is Carson is like one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. He's like one of the nicest athletes, nicest people that you will ever meet. So the title of this video being, you know, something along the lines of Carson Foster likes to talk trash might come as a bit of a shock, but it's real. And Carson will prove it to you. He'll tell you the story about one time when he suited up. We're following up on the, the suit up train. He talks a little bit of trash and they end up duking out a 500 freestyle at a UT practice. So enjoy Carson's story about talking trash with David Johnston and Shane Casas in a 500 freestyle suited up four time where Carson went a very, very quick 500 freestyle time. Yeah, my best ever was probably that 409 I did. And yeah, it's kind of a funny story, like the lead up to that. It was like David and Shane were like going back and forth talking about who would win in a 500 free. And everyone knows about that. Like they talk about that for every single race. So I was like, you know what? Like I said one thing. And then David chirped back at me and I like, I'm in. <laughs> David's one of my best friends. He's awesome. But David chirped back at me and I was like, I'm doing this five free. And <laughs> I don't know why like, anyone would chirp at you about a mid distance freestyle race. That's kind of like <laughs> your, I wouldn't say it's really even a sleeper at this point. I mean, what's your, are you 344 in the 400 long course? Three, yeah. 345. I mean, all right, I mean, <laughs> buckle up. It, if it's if it would fit into my schedule better, I would I would love to attack the four free. Mm -hmm. I just think it's I love the strategy aspect to it. I love training that that system, like that energy system. Um, it's my favorite event to train for, uh, but it just never really fits the way I, I would like it to in my schedule. But da I mean, David in his own right. I mean, if there's anyone that can chirp a little bit aside from Luke Hobson because he's the guy to beat right now in mid D free for for uh, the U S. But like if there's if there's anyone that can chirp uh, mid or 500 free, it's David Johnson. That dude, that dude can drop whenever he wants to in the five free. All yes, all he has to do is come up with a time in his head, and he's probably going to go it. Start um, doing the math. <laughs> yeah, and so so like that, I got my got, like my adrenaline was pumping the whole day. I was pretty nervous walking around. Like I was like, all right, got to get ready for this five free. Like I've I've talked like I've I never really talked trash. I was talking trash that day. And then, you know, I went to 409, which was really good. And then look, the the part that I don't think anyone heard about was right after I did a 300 IM and was like, I don't know, I was on, it was like on pace to go a best time for me in a three. It was a 75 of, of all strokes. And like, I was, I want to say I was 240, 240 or 230. I have it on my phone because Eddie wasn't there and I texted it to him. So you'd have uh, been in like the mid, mid three Mid 330 range, right? I'm actually just going to look it up. But yeah, that was probably the best. 239.8. 230. Ooh, ooh, that's cooking. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, that was, it's tough math to, to like do to get to the 400 from there. Uh -huh. But I don't think anyone would, would tell you that you weren't going to go sub 340. Yeah. And so that that's that's part of the thing with like, and that goes back to kind of what we were talking about at the beginning where, and especially I've done, I feel like I've done a really good job this season of doing it. But like, I want to have that like when i'm getting going on a friday suit up day i'm like if i come up with a time in my head i can always hit it mm -hmm. like and so i know it's in there and so i want to have and i'm working on having that mentality for a meet too where i'm like you know what fast fridays are fun like the time is a time if i hit it i hit it if i don't i don't but i'm gonna i'm gonna like impress some people today and that's like that's my mindset on fast fridays and so that's like a cool I'm phrase up, yeah, I'm working on having that mindset for a meet too. And, you know, I've gotten really, really excited for these meets coming up, which I feel like in the past, like I've almost, I've almost not been excited um, just because it's like, like I said before, I wouldn't change anything. But like when, when I swim, everyone watches and everyone, everyone always talks about when I swim, just like any of the other high level swimmers. So it's like you want it to be good all the time. Yeah. Um, and so I'm learning on how to block that out and how to execute the way I want to execute and just just rip because I want to go fast. And so um, I'm, I'm getting excited for this year. I think hopefully a new Carson, a new racing Carson is going to come out because we have some strategies for how I can do that. But, but yeah, I love, I, it's like we get to Wednesday and I text Eddie and Wyatt. I'm like, so what are we doing on Friday? So I can get like, get myself mentally ready to go. 
um, it just makes me really excited. I mean, if that chirping got you to go 409 and 327 or what, 2, 237, 239, whatever, uh, I don't know. I think we might need to uh, start to dabble in the, the talking shit aura. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> start I, dialing said, it up. I've always said I, I swim. I feel like I swim better when I'm like talking, like talking trash. But yeah. I also feel like I'm not I don't feel like I'm the type of person. <laughs> I felt comfortable doing it with Dave because Dave is one of my close friends. Um, he wasn't that day. I was. Uh, <laughs> we were, we were, there was some, there was some tension there that day, but that's uh, good. Yeah. It's like, I, I feel like I, um, not that I'm like, I don't want to say too nice to like talk trash, but like, I don't know. I, I don't feel like that's part of my game to like meant like to actually talk trash to someone Stoke unless flame a little like, bit. <laughs> yeah. Unless they're like, like my teammate or like my brother, like I'll talk with him during practice or I'll chirp it at Kobe Carroza or when Drew was here, me and Drew would, would chirp at each other a little bit, but, um, I love it. I love that side. And I know that was a big thing with Texas back in like 2018, 2017, when, when Conger and schooling were here too. So maybe we bring that back, see what happens. Carson put a little bit on the line. He put some skin to the game. He said, I'll beat you in a 500 freestyle. He showed up and you know, if you're going to talk trash to somebody like Carson Foster, who's an incredible mid distance swimmer, you got to be able to back it up. You got to be able to back it up. But one of the fun things about talking trash is that you get this little bit of tension that, that Carson talked about in this video. You get this like thing. It's looming in your mind while you walk around all day thinking about it, thinking about who I got to back up what I said. Because if I don't back up what I said, then I got a world of words coming my way. It's a fun thing. You got to be able to dish it. You got to be able to take it. And if you enjoyed taking this video into your ears and into your eyes, then hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think about what was said in the video and yeah subscribe if you want more videos like this to pop up on your homepage. i'll see you in the next one see ya